Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are unboxing and reviewing the Wakushi MS Nest and this is a small one out on the bunch so make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end of the video to see us have a full look around this nest and try it out on a few different things and stay tuned for us adding ants to this nest because we are adding some tropical fire ants to this nest, nest in the upcoming week so stay tuned for that. So let's get into the unboxing. So here is the small MS Nest and it is a really really cool nest and I do really like it. There is a few problems that I have with the MS range. I don't think there's enough MS nests out there. There's literally two. This is the small one on the two. And we will do a review on the bigger one very soon. So stay tuned for that. But it is a really cool nest. As you can see there. It just attaches by a normal uh, PVC tube. Not PVC. The Wakushi tube that they sell. The clear tube. So you can pick it up from Wakushi's website. And it fits the same anyway. But as you can see. There's a good hydration area. And the whole nest is basically made out of plaster so you can hydrate the whole nest easily. And something else I noticed really fast with the nest is that the vent holes are very, very, very small. So no ants will be escaping out of them or anything like that. So as you can see there, they are tiny. Nothing's coming out of there. So that is perfect for, for us, Solenopsis, Gemini, Tropical Fire Ants again in there. And it is a rock solid nest. And you also get the red cover that comes with it. And you just have to peel off the protective case and you've got a nice red cover for your ants that are sensitive to light. So your red cover will come on with a sticker on it just to keep it protective in shipping so we don't get scratched or anything like that. But you peel it off and you've got an awesome red cover that fits perfectly over your nest for your ants that are sensitive to light. But I do really like these MS ranges because it is a really good addition and something really good that Wakushi did when I first got into ant keeping when I wasn't when I didn't know much about ants I ordered Solenopsis Fugux, Fugux I think it's pronounced and I tried to put the I ordered them with a Wakushi S3 nest and they did actually text me saying if you're planning to put these ants in this nest they will not be suitable you need to get the MS range so I ended up not getting them ants anyway uh, but I think it's just really good that Wakushi actually told them when they could have had a sale nice and easily But that's something really useful uh, to bear in mind that Wakushi are really good and they're not trying to scam you They're just they're there to help anyone so if you need help go on the live chat and I'm sure they'll help you out And if you want to attach this nest to an ant world which micro species can go in the Wakushi ant worlds You need to get this attachment here and then your micro species can happily go into a Wakushi ant world so you buy this uh, adapter extra, I don't think it's much at all. And when you're building your world, you just screw it onto it into the holes like you do for another piece that would make more sense. And when I do attach it to your world, because I will do in the future, I'll make sure to show it. So if you ever need help with it, go check out a future video when we're doing it in a couple of weeks. So it's super easy to do, as you can see, just tube to tube, nice and easy. And then you just and then you can put stuff on other things like this and put a tube adapter on it and it's super easy and it just it makes it very very open to different things but as I'm voiceovering this I just realized that that is not an MS uh, adapter there so you couldn't actually do that because it's not made for the MS range unless I am wrong and Makushi have made all adapters like that for the MS range I don't think so uh, but this is the smaller one of the two MS ranges as I mentioned. Uh, the bigger one is a lot bigger to be fair. This one is about £18 and the other one's about 30 I think. So it is not too bad at all but we will eventually do a review on the bigger one as well. But this nest looks super good and the only thing I can say on the MS range is this. I assume this would be hard for Wakushi to do but if anyone from Wakushi is watching if there's somehow to add a feeding chamber into an MS nest, I think that would be really good because it is also a big jump from a test tube to this big nest because they can't go into anything else because it is a micro species. So I think if they had a feeding chamber in here, it would help out a lot. Uh, but I understand that that's probably quite hard because you need to keep them inside so they're a micro species. But also, as you can see, I just covered half of it with my hand there. And if you see one of the little small sections, I think Wakushi should make a small one about that big. So I think Wakushi should make a starter MS one. So they can go from a test tube to that. Because a test tube to this is a big gap. 
there's going to be about 50 to 100 workers for a micro species in a test tube until it's ready to move. And then if it goes in this with 50 to 100 workers, that's going to be not many workers for the size of the nest. So really, they need to make a small one in between and they need to make a bigger one on top of that as well. They just need to make, put more into the micro species range. Like, I really think there should be a small one. I think it'd be a really good addition. But I think if Wakushi keep working on it and then keep pulling out different micro species nestles, the micro species range is uh, decently new anyway. It's been around for a while, but it's not too old. But yeah, I think we should definitely uh, plan out and make some more micro species nests. And I think it'd be really good because I think they'll do good for selling because there's a lot of micro species out there that are really cool to have and enjoy at this period of time. So. Yeah, that's the main problem I have with the Wukushi MS Ness. So, as I mentioned earlier, we are putting Solenopsis Gemini Tropical Fire Ants into this Wukushi Ness. So, if you'd like to see that video in the future, make sure you stay around. And if you haven't seen all Solenopsis Gemini Tropical Fire Ants colony already, click top right, right now. And that is the video for our Fire Ants. And we have done an introduction video and very soon we'll be doing an update on them and telling you when they'll be ready to go in the nest they're not ready yet they've probably got at the moment of me filming this video they've got about 20 workers so check out the video to find out more about our solenopsis and we have ordered a really really cool species like this is our dream species i am not even kidding i have i don't want any more species more than this one but we have ordered it and i never even thought we'd ever order we've looked for it in stock for so long and it came on stock and I ordered it, that's many tough I found out, I am so excited for it to come, but stay tuned for us on Instagram and TikTok to find out more about that when it comes in the post, and then you'll probably see it on the YouTube in a few, uh, probably next week, so make sure you stay tuned for that, it is going to be awesome videos, we're going, we're going to have so much fun with these ants, so stay tuned for that, but let's crack up back on with the nest, so as I mentioned earlier, there's no feeding chamber, so what I'll have to do as you can see me demonstrating here by shoving my pinky in the hole <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull the cotton out really quick shove food in there and put it back in as fast the cotton back in as fast as I can before any workers can pour in out if I've just got a colony in here because my colony aren't going to be big enough to fully like have an ant world connecting and everything like that because it's going to be a big jump from test tube to this nest so they'll be in this nest for a few more weeks and then we'll attach an outboard to it for a feeding chamber. So to make the MS range perfect, I think if Kushi even added an adapter, not even in the nest that a test tube goes to, to a feeding chamber, so an, a literal separate little nest with a chamber, just a chamber basically, I think that'll be really cool. But other than that, it is an awesome, awesome nest. And just stay tuned on our YouTube channel because we've got some awesome things coming soon. And so with our TikTok, we're going to start doing a lot more on our TikTok and as well as Instagram. Just stay tuned for everything coming. It's going to be so good. We're going to pump out as many videos as we can. And as I've mentioned in last week's video, we have now got a store. Our store is the link in our description. We've got about five species of ants on there. And we're also planning nests in the background. And we've got some nectar coming very soon, like end of this week, beginning of next week very very soon we can't wait to have that out so thanks for watching this week's video thanks for getting if you watched all the way to the end make sure you comment down below and yeah we'll see you in next week's video so make sure you check out our website and everything else but it's been a mega video and if you'd like to buy this nest it will also be in the link in the description so i'll see you next week